women, each one once diagnosed with breast cancer, each one surviving, thanks to new treatments that are as individual as they are. We have changed almost everything that we do. Clifford Huddis is their doctor. And how are you? Good. So how are you feeling? We have learned, Great. for example, that and breast cancer is really a collection of diseases as opposed to being just one disease. And from that flows a series of treatments that are to some degree tailored for the unique circumstances of each patient group. I think I feel better now than before. <laughs> Linny Pickering was diagnosed with breast cancer eight years ago. Her treatment was a double mastectomy, chemotherapy, and hormone therapy. I'm really eating healthier and I'm exercising more. Linny's type of breast cancer used her own body's estrogen as fuel to grow. I'm always so amazed that this little teeny pill is helping me every day fight the cancer. That teeny pill is called Famara. It's a form of hormone therapy that shuts off her body's estrogen production, keeping the cancer at bay and the 58-year-old on the move. You gonna be a good runner today? Jody Sandler is a single working today? mom. She was diagnosed with breast cancer about a year ago. Since then, she's had a lumpectomy, chemotherapy, radiation, Herceptin, and hormone therapy. We're almost out of this. She got a special concentrated form of chemotherapy, shortening her treatment time. We don't give chemotherapy the way we did 10 or 15 years ago. New medicines help prevent the debilitating side effects of standard chemotherapy. I exercised the whole time. I kept working as much as I could. A big part of Jody's treatment is Herceptin. This therapy helps prevent recurrence for the 20 to 25 percent of patients with Jody's type of cancer. I go to Sloan Kettering every three weeks and I have an hour and a half IV infusion. Herceptin is a miracle drug. The chemotherapy really is what's keeping me going. Um, it, it, it stops the cancer from growing and therefore it allows me to have the lifestyle I have. Adrian Reed is a business executive, Sunday school teacher and soccer mom. Come on, Alex! Adrian was diagnosed with breast cancer 16 years ago. Surgery, chemotherapy and hormone therapy kept her cancer free for a decade. But six years ago, her breast cancer came back and spread. Her doctors have been working to outsmart it with a variety of drugs. I do think that women like me will be treated as if we have a chronic illness, that, that these drugs will be able to slow down the cancer growth so that we can have a much longer lifetime. Three women, each one surviving, each one thriving, with the help of new and smarter breast cancer treatments. Dr. John LaPook, CBS News, New York.